I learned quite a while back that not all golf balls are balanced properly. I have a very sophisticated putting robot here in the design studio. I do a lot of putter testing and also golf club testing. Well, I found that a lot of balls weren't consistent, and particularly in putter testing. Some balls would miss to the right, miss to the left, some would go in the center, but they'd reverse themselves and miss on the other side. Well, that didn't make any sense, so I found out that I needed to balance golf balls and find out if they were truly good or bad. Well, golf balls basically come in three conditions. The condition one is it's a perfectly balanced ball. Condition two is it's slightly off. You put a mark on it, and you always put that mark in a certain spot so you can putt properly. Condition three is we just don't want to play with the ball. It's off that far. So there are two basic ways to balance a golf ball. And one of them is to use the little electric spin balancer that spins the ball up to high RPM. You put a mark on it and you just always go by that mark. Well, I don't like the spin balancer, but it's fine. It works perfect, except that the reason I don't like it is because it doesn't tell me if the ball is perfect or the ball is terrible and I want to throw it away. It marks every ball because it's so precise. I like the messier saltwater solution method. Very easy to do, it lasts for three or four years. Comes in a kit, get a Sharpie pen, all the salt, you mix it all up, and this is what you have right here. So the three conditions are this. I'm going to take this golf ball and put it in the solution, and I spin it and get it nice and wet. I take my Sharpie pen, and I put a mark on the top. And then I take and I rotate the ball, and the mark didn't come up to the top. I rotate the ball, mark didn't come up to the same spot again. I rotate the ball, mark didn't come up to the same spot again. That tells me that that ball is absolutely perfectly balanced. Now I take ball number two. I already have put a very large dot on this so that we can see it real well. So I'm going to spin this ball, and this is the one that's marginal. Now, here's what happens. The dot slowly comes up to the top. I rotate the ball, the dot slowly comes back up to the top. I rotate the ball, and the dot slowly comes back up to the top. This ball is out a little bit. You want to use that mark, and I'll show you how to use that in a little bit here. The third ball in the third condition is the one that's way out. So I put it in here, and I've already got this big mark on it too, and I spin it, and it comes up real quick to the same spot. I spin it again, comes up real quick to the same spot. I spin it again, comes up real quick to the same spot. This is the ball we don't want to play with. And that means the center of gravity is pretty far off on that ball. So those are the three conditions you're going to encounter. Now what I like to do is also put some lineup lines on my golf balls. I've taken the dot in this case and I put two lines. I've got the dot and I put one line on it. There are a lot of gizmos on the market to put lines on. Here's a little cup and you can take a Sharpie pen and put the line on. So one of the things that we want to do is be sure to check out and balance our golf balls even though we know that a lot of the top grade balls are all x-rayed and manufacture and they're perfect. But it takes just a little bit of time, kind of fun to do, and then you'll always know and never have it in the back of your mind that there was a problem with that golf ball and that's why you missed that putt.